hi, thanks for joining us today. Uh, this video is going to be a little different than what we usually do. I, I usually try to focus on one topic and keep it somewhat bite sized but one of our most common questions requires a lot of explanation, which is how do you buy tax properties in Alabama with all the changing laws and the, and the systems being in flux uh, between the old system, which was tax certificates, tax deeds, and the new system, which are tax liens. So instead of trying to break this up, we're just going to hit it head on and cover uh, five ways that you can buy Alabama tax properties uh, in 2022, which is where um, the inventory stand today. And uh, we're going to cover a lot of different um, ground here, but we're not going to cover a few things that um, also work. Notably, if you've heard of something called like cash for keys or negotiating a quick claim with an owner, we're not going to cover that because it doesn't apply to just Alabama. That's not even just a tax property thing. That's that's a bigger topic that uh, there are plenty of other YouTube videos that you can watch. And uh, so we're going to stick to what's unique about Alabama and show you how to purchase um, based on the current programs and the different laws in effect today. So the first way we're going to show you is uh, county auctions. And I, I'm going to show you all using parcel fair because uh, parcel fair is a tool that will, sh will show you all the properties across inventories for the entire state. Now Alabama is just one state in parcel fair, but it happens to be the first one that was in parcel fair and, and has a lot of history and um, a lot of work has gone into keeping these inventories uh, up to date and accurate for our users. So on screen right now, there are uh, 52,000 properties that are available in some way right now uh, in Alabama to purchase. These are, uh, again, going to be tax properties. And let's go through the county auctions and talk about uh, which ones you're buying as tax liens versus tax certificates, which is the old system again. So a little background there. Uh, in 2018 was the last year that uh, all of the counties in Alabama held a tax certificate auction. Uh, the next year, 2019, several counties, Shelby, Coleman, Baldwin, started off on a new process of uh, tax liens. And these are foreclosable at three years, and they are 12% tax liens. And it's uh, today, about two-thirds of the counties in Alabama have adopted the new process uh, for tax liens. So when you're looking at this map, uh, if you want to know where county auctions are, it's basically everything that's in yellow. Um, and if you're a parcel fair user, what I've done is clicked on the map terrain Google option here on the Google map. Uh, you, the default is this uh, satellite view, but it's tough to see uh, across the entire state. So uh, I went ahead and switched over to this uh, map terrain view. I also turned on county borders so we can see, uh, and you just do that here inside of the markers and overlays, you can turn county borders on or turn them off. So this gives us a nice bird's eye view of the whole state at once. And again, these yellow properties are going to be uh, upcoming tax auctions. And one last disclaimer here, uh, Baldwin County, which is here the southern end of the state and Shelby, just had their auctions in the last two days so those properties have now turned green because they're no longer in an auction and until the results of those auctions show up they're they're just showing up as tax liens for now that are uh, post auction if you will so let's take a look at mobile for example we have an upcoming auction in mobile and uh, you can see scattered through here a lot of these yellow shapes uh, those are the property outlines and Mobile is one of the counties that switched over to tax liens. Uh, so I've pre-selected a sample property to show you. I know beach properties are, they're fun to look at. They're just, you're not likely to <laughs> uh, foreclose on one of these because they're so valuable they would typically redeem. Uh, but for instance here, we're taking a look at this uh, beach house in Mobile. And when we're talking about ways to buy in parcel fare, this purchase options block is where all of that is managed. It's just, it's just the where you where you look to see all the ways that we know for you to buy this property, or buy the lien in this case. So uh, we have an upcoming auction, mobile tax sale. If you click on that option, we give you all of the details in the window. So um, you can see it's on May 18th, 
And this particular auction, you would be buying the tax lien uh, on a website called govease.com. So we're not affiliated with them, but we do uh, link you over to the website. If you click on register for tax sale, it opens a new window and actually takes you through the process of creating an account if you don't already have one. Uh, we also have this yellow button, which takes you to the information about tax sales. And this actually takes you to this screen where you can look at all of the uh, upcoming tax sales that Govies covers and whichever county you're interested in. Uh, lastly, if you wanted to call the county, let's say you had questions that are not on Govies' website or on ParcelFair, here's the phone number and a little bit of information about the, the uh, taxes due. And that pretty much covers that purchase option of a tax lien uh, that is for sale on govies.com. Uh, so again, back to our map, uh, those properties are in the mix uh, that are in the auction. They're in the mix with other properties that you can buy other ways. And that's one of the uh, real advantages of parcel fair is you could go to the Govies website and then you could go to other websites where you're looking at uh, over-the-counter properties or city programs and uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but um, Parcel Fair puts them all in one place on this map for you. So that's how we are looking at a mix of properties like we are right now. So I mentioned that there's uh, also county auctions that use the old system. So I want to show you an example of that too. And so I pre-selected this property to show you. Uh, this is in Russell County and uh, You'll see the usual details here, but if you click on the uh, purchase option here, you get an entirely different set of instructions that show you uh, where's the auction and when. It's on May 3rd at 10 a.m. at the Russell County Courthouse. And the taxes due, and of course the phone number uh, if you want to call and ask questions. So again, depending on the auction and depending on what, your, uh, what the county you're looking at, you'll, you'll get different instructions that are tailor fit to how you would purchase in that auction. Uh, I guess one other thing to note here is that there's tax certificate sale. If you remember the uh, other property said it was a tax lien auction. So we also distinguish the old systems uh, from the new uh, tax lien system just so you uh, are not confused about what you're buying. So. That covers county auctions in Alabama. Uh, it's worth noting that the, the auction season is in the spring every year. So uh, the earliest auctions happen the first week of April and some of them extend all the way into June. So you have uh, spring and into early summer where you can buy these county auctions. And, and again, remember some of them are online, some of them are in person. And uh, depending on the county you're shopping in, uh, you'll want to know where that is. And then that's one thing that we'll show you in parcel fair and that purchase option is take you to the right place for the auction. So the second way we're going to talk about buying properties at uh, specific to Alabama in 2022 is the Alabama department of revenue. So this is one of the uh, most popular, it probably is the most popular uh, and well-known way to purchase. So, the way properties end up with the Department of Revenue, um, if the county is using the uh, old system, the certificates and deeds, what happens is when the uh, certificates that are not sold at the auction each year, so these are the leftover certificates that nobody purchased, those actually go to the state's inventory and become certificates that are for sale directly from the Alabama Department of Revenue. So. The way you can see that at a glance here are, uh, especially in the Birmingham area, which this is the first year that Jefferson County and, and Birmingham will be in the new system. So they have a lot of properties that are from the old system still. And these properties that you notice in blue are, are actually tax deeds that have, there's just certificates that have matured into tax deeds now. But essentially tax certificates, tax deeds, when you see them on the website, those are both the old system, and again, there's a lot of inventory, uh, a lot of properties still under the old law. So if that's not confusing enough, <laughs> uh, you'll start to see after this year's auction, you'll see a mix of, of liens and certificates and deeds all in the same county in Jefferson County. 
So let's show you um, an example of a Department of Revenue property. So we have a uh, tax certificate in 2019 that was uh, in Mobile County. And you'll notice the purchase option here is Apply Online Alabama Department of Revenue. So if you click that, it opens up a little disclaimer telling you that you're leaving the website. And then it takes you to the application form. So again, you don't need parcel fare to do this. It just saved a lot of time in getting to that property's form. It gave you information along the way. Uh, and not to mention, this was all in the mix of other purchase options, um, guiding you to exactly how to purchase uh, this property. So right now in 2022, um, this is a very popular way to purchase. And so the downside is that uh, there's, because of so much interest with the Department of Revenue, uh, this can be a very slow process. What you're doing by filling this form out is you're requesting a what they call a price notice or price notification. And really what that is is it's a quote uh, where the state, remember this is the Alabama Department of Revenue, not the county. So the state of Alabama comes back and says, if you want to buy this certificate or deed that you're looking at, uh, we require this much money. And that's going to be all the back taxes, interest fees, and prorated taxes for the current year as well. So when you get that quote, you personally will have 10 days uh, of an exclusive option to purchase that property where nobody else can, uh, can buy it through the Department of Revenue because you have that exclusive lock on the property. So if you do the math, if uh, five people are in front of you in line and they have at least a 10-day window, uh, barring a few days in between, that, that's at least 50 days you're going to wait on a price quote. So, um, and there's, you're sort of helpless here. You don't have a way of, of knowing or, or jumping in line or anything. So uh, you're sort of at the mercy of um, who all has applied ahead of you on a property. Uh, from our experience and what our users are telling us, uh, vacant land without uh, structures, those price quotes tend to come in much quicker. I think it's just because there's lower demand. Um, but anything with a structure that is in decent shape uh, you can expect to wait probably months to uh, get a, a price quote. And of course, if someone buys it ahead of you, you just get a notification that um, the property is no longer available. So again, this is, this is the most direct and a very effective way to purchase. It just takes a while. And uh, some people get very frustrated with that. So um, it's important to keep this option in mind, but don't just go all in on this one option um, because it, it could be very frustrating uh, waiting that out. So the next way I want to show you uh, how to purchase is it's very similar to the Department of Revenue, but this is uh, called over-the-counter uh, county liens, where these are tax liens that cleared the county auction, and the, when tax liens clear an auction, they do not go to the Department of Revenue. The county actually keeps those tax liens on the books, and um, Depending on which county you're talking to, um, they some of them sell these liens over the counter year round. Uh, other counties will choose to put them in the next year's sale. Um, so just a, as an example, let's go check out Mobile again on our map. Uh, Mobile is a great example for over the counter uh, tax liens because. Um, uh, they have enough volume of leftovers every year that there's actually something to buy. Uh, some counties have so few that there's not even worth uh, a mention hardly. But Mobile actually posts on their uh, Department of Revenue website a list that they update monthly, and we, of course, pull those into parcel fare for your convenience. So this is an example of uh, a property that is a 2021 tax lien. Uh, it cleared the auction and you have this apply online Mobile County Revenue Commission purchase option now. So that's different from everything you've seen so far because the instructions are totally different. You're not applying online in this case. You actually have manual instructions that we have uh, found from the county uh, and they, they're, they publish this phone number and um, essentially have a way for you to call and buy the tax lien directly from the county. So there's, there's not a waiting list, there's not a price quote, there's not um, really a delay. It's just once you're ready to buy the tax lien, you just call the county and buy it. 
Uh, currently, uh, I know Shelby County also does this. They publish their uh, leftover tax liens and sell them over the counter directly to uh, purchasers. And um, I think as as the years go by and more leftover uh, tax liens accumulate with other counties, we'll probably see more counties willing to sell year round. If I was guessing, um, but right now again, some counties just choose to uh, sell them only in their uh, annual tax auctions and not over the counter throughout the year. So the next purchase option I want to show you are, are the land banks. Um, these are very limited options. Um, and the reason I say that is uh, they're only available in certain cities. It's not even uh, county necessarily, but uh, Birmingham and Gadsden are the two that are most notable in Alabama right now. And they have thousands of properties on the books that essentially uh, they're trying to prevent blight and abatement and move these properties and get them into the hands of investors that will do something uh, with the property. So they have a vetting process and an application process to make sure that uh, you're, you're not uh, going to just skip out on the taxes next year and have it right back in the, in the city's books. So um, I have an example on screen of the Birmingham Land Bank. This property, if you see the uh, purchase option, it actually brings up this window. And if you continue to the land bank's website, uh, it takes you straight to the page for this property where you can apply for it. Uh, now again, just by comparison, um, there's a few things that make the land bank uh, different than something like, let's say, the Department of Revenue when you're buying uh, directly from the state. Uh, probably. Uh, the main difference is how you apply. This application process is much more involving. Uh, when you buy from the Department of Revenue, it takes a few seconds to fill out the form. But this process with the Land Bank Authority, they really want to vet the purchaser and make sure that you have experience doing this, uh, of uh, uh, renovating properties and improving the area. They also want to make sure that you have the funds and possibly even examples of your previous work uh, that you maybe it could be rental properties or renovation flips, things like that, that make you a good uh, investor for them to work with. And every uh, sale on the land bank is actually going to be uh, approved by committee. So um, you have to meet their approval process. And there's a, there's a lot of information about land bank. A lot of these topics have a lot more we could talk about, but um, you know, again, let's, I'd love to keep the dialogue going with everybody. So if you have questions, uh, please reach out. I'll, I'll drop some links in the, uh, in the video notes so that you can you can find us and, and keep this uh, discussion going. One last point about the land banks. Uh, the rules can slightly differ from city to city and, and land banks aren't just an Alabama thing. They're, they're in other states as well. So you always want to understand uh, the rules and the application process for each land bank. But in Alabama with uh, Birmingham and Gadsden land banks, there's a key difference uh, in the property you're getting um, versus a tax property in the traditional sense. Uh, you know, if you're buying a tax lien or, or tax certificate, there's a lot of redemption uh, rules to keep track of and, and redemption periods where uh, the owner can come back and essentially pay up and get the property. With a land bank, once their process completes, uh, the price you pay for the property includes a quiet title action. So there is no redemption period after uh, the quiet title action is completed. And again, your purchase price of the property with the land bank, uh, they use those funds and, and possibly even some city funds if, if necessary to uh, do that quiet title action uh, because they're, they're motivated to move the property and get it into better hands than, than just having it abandoned. So when you contrast that with the tax property, it is a lot of work in the application process and it's more stringent to meet the the, uh, the what's desired of an investor in the land bank. But at the end of the day, you get a property without uh, a redemption period. And uh, so again, more work, but it, it's, a, it's a nice asset to have at the end of the day. So the last uh, purchase option I want to go over the, when we're talking through the, the five ways to buy in Alabama, <laughs> I almost split this one up into three because um, there's three main ways you would do this. But we're going to talk about resellers, which are uh, sort of a new concept, uh, maybe in the last two or three years. But in Alabama, uh, there's enough demand for properties that 
several options have uh, come on the scene for you to buy from someone else. And so the first one I want to show you is called USA Deed. And USA Deed, like all of these purchase options, it's a separate website, but we pull their inventory into Parcel Fair so you can see it with all the other options as well. And USA Deed in particular is a group of uh, resellers that um, use that website to host properties and uh, sell them directly to other investors. And I have an example on screen. So you see the USA Deed button, uh, orange button for $6,400 you can buy now from USA Deed. So this property is, we're going on, let's see, uh, so the, the tax sale was in 2019, which means it was delinquent in 2018. You can see that uh, right here. So if you're thinking 2018, 19, 20, 21, that's four years of taxes plus prorating the current year and all of the fees and interest. There, there's, a, there's a fair amount of taxes owed. And then USA Deed is going to uh, tack a premium onto that. Um, for, for their purposes and for the transfer to cover all, all their needs. And so they're offering an out-the-door price of $6,400, which includes all of, the, uh, of those fees and everything else. So uh, this is one of the reseller options that uh, you should consider. And the next one is very similar, but uh, Anderson Realty Group is another uh, great way to buy properties. Um, I guess if you were comparing the two, um, uh, instead of being a group of resellers, Anderson Realty is, is, uh, is a company that uh, just hosts their own properties. Um, and it's worth noting, sometimes resellers are uh, selling properties that they've already purchased, and sometimes they're selling properties that they have an active price quote for that they're willing to go purchase on your behalf and transfer to you. And so they're, in, they're, they're mixed in there. You, you'll get both kinds. But either way, you've got a price uh, on this particular property. It's a 2012, so you're, you know, 10 years taxes at this point. If actually more when you consider it's delinquent in 2011, and uh, so the the out the door price on this one is 10,833. Uh, and remember, I said there's there is a separate website that this takes you to, and um, so Anderson Realty is going to give you a little more information about this property. They uh, they have an assessment of the condition. They say it's in poor condition, but it's in an opportunity zone. And then they have some recent photos at the bottom that help you get an idea of what the property looks like today. And if you keep going, there's an order form that you can fill out directly and, uh, and purchase the property uh, right now without any uh, waiting period. Uh, so Anderson Realty, is uh, uh, they've been doing this for several years now, and uh, they've got a process down that, that's pretty seamless at this point where they can uh, uh, get your money put into escrow and work with a local law firm named Stanley and Associates that, uh, I mean, they're, they're the only ones I know that do this uh, uh, type of closing. And uh, we, we trust them and send people uh, referrals to them as well. Uh, but they will hold the buyer's money in escrow. And uh, until all of the paperwork is essentially uh, received from the state or, or wherever uh, you're buying from, uh, they will then release the funds to complete the transaction. And so it provides you with a, a layer of safety as well. Uh, and that's, especially if you're, if you're getting started or um, uh, even if you're a seasoned professional, that can be very, uh, very useful to have. Now, the third way that I'm going to show you uh, to, to buy from a reseller is something relatively new to Parcel Fair. It's been about maybe four or five months ago. We added a purchase option called direct offers, and it's the blue button that still says new on it. <laughs> and what this means is that another Parcel Fair user has an active price quote on this property today. And so they are inside of their 10 day window to purchase this tax deed from the state of Alabama. So if you were to click on the direct offer button and complete the form, uh, all that does is it essentially puts you in contact with that user. What we do is we anonymously approach the user who's holding the price quote and make sure that they're willing to uh, discuss the possibility of selling with you. And if they agree, we just connect you. And you can work directly with that reseller and uh, basically uh, the terms of your deal is between the two of you. And um, we just step out of the picture and let you complete the transaction. So that's the three ways you can buy from a reseller. And one thing that's important to know is 
you know, we, we talked about how these purchase options, they show up when you click on a property in Parcel Fair, but what if I want to see just the direct offers, for instance? You can click on our, I did that kind of fast, let me show you again. There's a search filter uh, window that you can open on the map, or, and instead of completing this search, which is for, for properties across all inventories, I just want to look inside of one inventory. So I'm going to go to direct offers to parcel fair users. And as of right now, there's only 98 of these on the website. But that's just um, a quick way to, to zoom in on what price quotes do other people uh, have available that they're willing to consider selling. And uh, in that same list, we go back to quick searches and you'll see uh, USA Deed and Anderson Realty Group as well. So you can filter by any of those. And there's usually a few hundred properties in each uh, at any given time. But these, these inventories rotate pretty quickly because there's a lot of sales going on. And there's also, if it's tied to a price quote, remember there's a 10 day window. So that forces these properties to expire and renew as uh, more price quotes are, are available. So I, I covered a lot of ground. And again, um, I know that there, there could be questions and uh, a lot more detail you can cover. Uh, if, if you are interested in talking further about this, again, look in the comment section of the video and I will put a link to our contact form. And we'd love to pick up the discussion with you. And uh, this, is, this is what we love to do. And uh, we're very passionate about this. So, uh, so please engage with us. And uh, thank you again for watching today.